Kelsey, the guy walks out of the house. I'm like, babe, he's out. He's out. And she still continues to try and pull coconuts down. <laughs> oh, my God. I was on a mission. And he's looking right at us, no, towards us. <laughs> Who uses a giant Mac flashlight? never been on this side, but there's an infinity symbol for gate 13. There's secret tunnel. There's secret tunnel. Look, 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 look. What is that? So we're going to go open the door and see what it does. Apparently you need your boarding pass to open it up. Oh, look, it's already open. Sad day. An imaginary gate. What color is number seven? I think it should be green. Nope, that one's wrong. Blue? Is it red? <laughs> okay. Uh, How do you know you're not dreaming? Life is life but a is dream. Good dream. Nope, wrong. A real world? Maybe it's just because the door's What open. the heck? Close the door. You receive a ticket. There you go. Okay, it's broken. and I'll give you one guess as to where we're going. After we ran, After surprisingly, we, ran. we did go for a run. Um, we teleported we did. to the other side of the world. Yeah. We're in St. Croix, the Virgin Islands. What are you doing now? Didn't film a whole lot yesterday because uh, we were just kind of farting around, running, uh, doing errands and stuff, getting like groceries and whatnot. Uh, basically, Kelsey's grandparents live here in St. Croix, so uh, so yeah, they, we we had to stock up their fridge and whatnot. They live here a couple months out of the year, and then they come home to Texas a couple a uh, couple months out of the year, so. <laughs> So we came over here, here, helped them with their bags and stuff, and, and we'll end up flying back by ourselves. But uh, today, we're going to go fishing. Um, so that's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Thank you. 
Well, overall, I've done a terrible job about vlogging this uh, <laughs> this trip. Um, it's the third day. Uh, yesterday, we spent all day on the boat, and God, the sun here beats on you so differently that um, I mean, I used to work outside a whole lot doing landscaping, and now we were on the boat for half a day. We got back, and I just passed out. I mean, granted the AC here that everyone runs mini splits and whatnot, but I went in the room, turned up the AC, and just passed out on the bed for like three hours last night. I still went to bed a decent hour. But anyways, it's uh, July 3rd, so we're going out downtown. There's two towns here, Christen Christiansted and Fredericksted, I think. Uh, so we're going to go down to Fredericksted. We're going to go have dinner. Then we're going to go watch some fireworks. I guess they're doing fireworks tonight here. Uh, and then maybe fireworks somewhere else tomorrow. I don't know. But this is the view from Grandma's house. Ocean's right there. Oh, Kelsey's trying to sneak up on me. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm trying to doing? do something. Because <laughs> I don't recording anything. So Grandma's got to pull up here. Uh, and yeah. So. Can I take a moment and talk about how crazy this woman is? So cool. everywhere. Grandma? Yeah, she's psycho okay. so no, don't say that about there her. was no pool here it was just like a sloped ground and like you can see how steep this drop off is and when she bought the house i told her she shouldn't buy it because i was worried about her getting old and stuff and we're sitting down at a bar and i was like you know the hospitals aren't the same as they are in the states i'm just a little bit worried it's not like i can just snap my fingers and be here in a couple minutes uh for those reasons i don't think you should buy it and she goes okay well i appreciate you letting me know takes a <laughs> sip of her drink and she goes i'm gonna buy it and i said well, here we are. Oh, oh sorry. Quack. Quack. Uh, uh, so, yes. And then she, what? She wanted a pool. She has a pool at every house, basically. Yeah. So and it took about she, a year and a half to build it. Yeah, because this is a saltwater pool and there's like a drop off here. So, constantly having issues of like engineering and trying to figure out, make sure it works and fits. Look. It was missing those. Uh, um, but yeah, I had constant issues of it cracking. So she finally had the guys who built it finally got it right and now it's just this big old saltwater pool overlooking the ocean which is really cool. Yeah, she's super so, happy with it and yeah. very much a testament to the house. Love what you love and follow your dreams regardless of your age. Yep, and then Dave and Darcy are downstairs down over here. So. They're my favorite. Yep. Anyways, we're gonna go grab some dinner and go watch some fireworks. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get in trouble for the music in the background, so I'm going to make it short, but this is downtown Fredericksted, I think, or Christian said, ah, oh, hell, I don't know. It's one of the towns here. Cruise ships come in over here at the big pier, and I guess there's going to be a bunch of vendors and stuff down here tomorrow, and today's Emancipation Day, so that's why we're doing, they're doing fireworks today, and then we'll go to another part of the town tomorrow to do some more fireworks.
What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on here? You want to steal fucking nuts? <laughs> right in front of a guy's house. <sighs> Why is that a problem? <laughs> <sighs> We're gonna end up on the Facebook neighborhood chat. <laughs> Can we find coconuts less conspicuous? Okay, fine. <laughs> Kelsey, the guy walks out of the house. I'm like, babe, he's out. He's out. And she still continues to try and pull coconuts down. <laughs> God. I was on a mission. And he's looking right at us, no, towards us. <laughs> Who uses a giant Mac flashlight? Oh my you God. do. I wasn't even the reason that we got caught. It was your fault. Your fault. I Technically, it at this hour, he should have been in bed. I tried to make it simple. You wanted to back the truck up to the, the thing. Well, it would have been... And stand on my shoulders. Okay, well... Where are we going? What? Well, do you not? Okay. Bye bye, folks. I need to navigate. It looks like something's leaking a little bit. We have success. We were intercepted by somebody else coming home. Very rude. I don't know what they're doing down there. We have coconuts. Maybe they were looking for coconuts. They were probably looking for coconuts. And then I left some on the ground because they pulled up and we got scurred. But, oh well. More coconuts for them. Coconuts. Yeah, four coconuts. I'm gonna drink all of those tonight. We know how we're yeah. So anyway, that concludes our um, our hunting for the night. Yep. We've got a couple more days here, um, and we'll see if we can get into some more trouble with them uh, within the next couple days. See ya. Cheers. Cheers.